Hi, home buddies. All right, I'm still working on my Christmas decor here at Catskill Mountain Homebody YouTube channel. Chipper has come downstairs with me. Say hi. Say hi. Hey, baby. Say hi, baby. All right, I am at my holiday closet, which I have featured in my Halloween decorate video. So I have pulled out my Christmas trees, I have put in here my Thanksgiving stuff, but I have still two shelves of Christmas decorations that I need to bring upstairs and start putting out. So one of the things I have to do is on top of here, I have my Christmas houses that I'm going to be showing you. And I have some boxes of ornaments and other decorations that I need to take out. So I'm gonna start pulling some of this stuff and bringing it upstairs and then I will start going over it with you guys and continuing to decorate my house for Christmas. Meet you upstairs. About 13 years ago my mom bought my son this a Christmas story hallmark keepsake it's not an ornament but it says a Christmas story and it's the famous scene where they dare each other to lick the flagpole and it actually has sound with it from the movie which I'll play stick my tongue to that stupid pole that's dumb dogs are very concerned about the child stuck to the pole <laughs> they were like what is still going on so i usually put this by my christmas houses which i'll show you in a minute
today I am going to hopefully wrap up my Christmas decorations in video number three. Couple goals for today. I am going to complete my tree behind me with the angel and more ornaments. I'm going to put out my Christmas houses, which I need to show you, my Christmas house set. Those are the two main goals for today anyway. Today is a weekend and I've been doing a lot of schoolwork because it's that time of year that I have to do a lot of schoolwork. But um, I thought I would take a few minutes while the dogs were taking their nap, try to get at least all of the Christmas decorations complete so I don't have to worry about it anymore until... I take them down in January. I am excited to put out my Christmas houses. Um, I love them. And I'll explain a little backstory of those. Let me show you what I did in the kitchen though. Come on with me. I bought this bow at Walmart and these red and white beads. So I didn't have anything to put up here for Christmas. I don't think I put anything up here last year for Christmas. Um, but I thought I would get these red and white beads that I saw in Walmart because then I'm going to leave them up for Valentine's Day and I'm just going to put a heart decoration here for Valentine's Day because I do decorate the house for Valentine's Day and that will be in an upcoming video after New Year's. So I was like, oh great, I'll get the red and white beads. Perfect for Christmas and Valentine's Day. So for now I have this nice bow decorating my kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna run downstairs and grab my Christmas houses and my other boxes of ornaments. And we're gonna keep decorating the house for Christmas. Years ago, my parents' friends bought us some of these houses from A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. So I have the Scrooge and Marley house. And I have Bob Cratchit and Tiny Tim's house. So those are two of the houses that I put out along with this church. And remember, this church I leave out all year. I think it's cute. I like to leave it out all year. All right, but I have another house set that I want to show you that was given to me by my mother-in-law. Okay. I bought these little decorations for the village square, a little village clock that I put out with my homes. I also have this little, this little lamp post that I put out that I bought years ago. I'll put these over here. I have another little light post that I bought. Okay, so um, years ago, when I was engaged to Joe, my mother, my future mother-in-law, who became my mother-in-law, um, found this Christmas house set, and she knew that I love decorating for Christmas. And the reason that she bought this for me, I'll show you, but it comes with a set of lights and I'm going to put it on a timer so it automatically goes on and off this season. So I'm going to pull them out and then I'll talk about why she bought them for me. Okay, so these are marked Noma 1995. I never looked up what Noma is, but it says made in China, but I don't know what Noma 1995 means. This is the reason why my mother-in-law bought me this set because she, she saw one of the homes has a sign on it that says Amy's Bakery. So she saw this and she thought, oh, I have to give Amy these Christmas houses because she knows I love Christmas. And she had to get it for me because it has Amy's Bakery. So I love this set and I put it out every year. I've never missed a year with these houses. I put them out every single year. They go with my A Christmas Carol houses and my church that was my mother's. So we're gonna set this up and put it on a timer. 
and I'm going to have them go on in the afternoon and turn off around 10 o'clock at night. So let's set up our houses. Okay, this is it without the lights. I did set it up to a timer, so it's going to go on in a few minutes. But this is what it looks like without the lights. I found my angel. This is the angel that we put on top of the tree. And I need Jody to help me do that with the ladder because it's too tall for me. But we got this angel, I think, at Walmart in the 90s. All right, so Joe put her on the tree because I cannot reach. If I was to do that, I would need a higher ladder. So she is now on the tree. And the last thing I have to do is pull out the rest of the ornaments because there are many, many ornaments missing. Let me show you a couple things I put on the mantle. I mean, on the fireplace. This little mouse I got years ago from a craft show. It's from the 90s. And it comes out every year. My father-in-law and mother-in-law gave Joe and I this little Santa and penguin on a rocking chair. And I put it out every year. And they also gave us this little ceramic Santa checking his list for all the nice children. So it looks a little bit better with some more decorations on the mantle and on the fireplace. All right, so let me show you what I've pulled out. So this box I had... I don't really have much in here. This was the box that I had the Santas and the Santas and the uh, and the angel on the tree in that box. But this little box, I keep. So this box contains the rest of my ornaments, which I'm going to start pulling out. And I'm hoping that my lights go on in a few minutes, so I can show you my lights on my on my holiday village. I forgot to mention that for my bridal shower, one of my guests got me a set of ornaments from Land's End called Bridal Tree Collection. And it's according to an old German tradition, the new newlywed couple should include 12 of these ornaments. Unfortunately, I broke the Santa Claus one, but there's a little coffee pot, a pine cone, a little home, a fish, a rose, a little bouquet of flowers, fruit basket. I'm going to put this on my dining room tree because it's food themed. So I'm going to put that on my dining room tree. And then it comes with this little bird that you can clip on your tree. I'm going to add this to my Christmas tree. It also has a little angel. And each of these things means something. So the angel is supposed to give us God's guidance in our home. The house is supposed to provide us with shelter and protection. The fish represents the blessing of Christ. The bird represents happiness and joy. The pine cone represents motherhood and fruitfulness. Flower basket represents good wishes. Oh, I thought this was a coffee pot. It's actually a teapot. The teapot represents hospitality. The rose represents bounty and affection. 
And there was there is a Santa. The Santa's missing. I need to buy a new Santa. The Santa represents unselfishness and goodwill. And there also is a heart that I have with my Valentine's Day decorations. And there is a rabbit, which represents hope and faith, which I keep with my Easter decorations. And I put those out at different times of the year. So I'm going to put some of these out on my tree. And these are the last ornaments that I have to put out. So again, the food one, I'm going to put, I'm going to put this one on my dining room tree. And the rest are going to go on my main tree. My tree let me put the light on so you can see better all right I have put all my ornaments on the tree and Joe put the angel on top so it's looking nice let's take a look at some of the ornaments I have here that I have shown you in earlier videos that little gal needs to be facing the right way so I have a lot of different ornaments on the tree through the years that I've collected or that I've gotten from my parents or that Julius made in school. I have some Mary's Moomoo's ornaments. This ornament represents our dog, Joy. We had a Jack Russell who died of cancer in 2020. So that's Joy's ornament. I have a pug ornament for Chipper. And my sister had these ornaments made last year that feature Scout and Chipper. So all the dogs are represented on our tree. I have some ornaments that my parents have given us after we were married. I have some ornaments that represent our, we took a trip to Alaska in 2015. So a lot of the ornaments I got on that trip to Alaska. I have ornaments people made us. And again, most of these ornaments were given to me as gifts, especially for my mother. She used to buy us a lot of ornaments years ago. There was a store in New York City that my parents liked to go to that was a Christmas store and they sold a lot of ornaments. So she used to every year buy us ornaments. So I have a lot of ornaments from that store that she bought us over the years. But it's looking good. It's not looking so barren anymore. Now I can put away my stepladder and the angel adorns the top. So let's look at it with a little bit of darkness. I love Christmas. It's so cozy and warm in the Catskills. We don't have snow yet, but it has been quite cold. So it is lovely to have your house decorated for the Christmas holiday. My decorations mostly up now. Here's the dining room. With my food themed tree. Looks delicious. And it really does catch your eye in the window when you drive by a check. I hope that you and your family are enjoying this lovely December holiday season. I hope that your house is starting to come together if you do decorate for the holidays. And for those of us in the Northeast, I always hope we get snow before Christmas. So it's still early in the month and I am done decorating there's a couple things joe is going to hang outside on the porch for me so then i'll do a video of the porch i do have my christmas tree on the porch i bought some red lights from walmart put them on the tree out there those are set on a timer they only go off in the afternoon they turn off at 10 o'clock at night and i bought a snowman windsock that i'm going to be leaving out all the way through march so what i normally do is after christmas and after new year's I take down all the Christmas decorations. I leave up anything related to snowmen, snow people, and then I take out all my Valentine's Day decorations. The house will be decorated for Valentine's Day slash winter all the way through, pretty much through March 1st. And then in March, I take down all my Valentine's Day decoration and winter decorations, and then I start on Easter. So Easter goes up kind of early for me. So thanks for joining me. Please consider subscribing to my channel or liking this video if you enjoyed. 
watching me decorate for Christmas. And I will be making a lot of videos this Christmas season, especially on my baking. Because I do tend, I'm in the middle of the month, I'm going to start baking for the holidays. So I'm going to be doing some videos on how I do some of my some of my favorite cookie recipes. So I hope you stay tuned for that. Enjoy your December. See you in the next video.